Hello everyone, it's Harvey from Elixnode here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to ban people on your Minecraft server using no plugins, and then some plugins that I recommend myself. So first up, I'm going to be showing you how to ban someone on your Minecraft server if you have a vanilla server. So I'm on a vanilla server here with my trees on an island. There is a boat over there. There is a boat over there. So if you want to ban someone on your Minecraft server and it's vanilla server, all you need to do is slash ban and then the username. I'm not going to ban myself, as you can see here, it wants me to do. Uh, so I'm going to do notch, for example. And it says banned notch, banned by an operator. And if I want to give a reason for that, I do ban notch and then a reason. So bad. I mean, he's already been banned, but it would say that he's been banned for the reason of bad. And that's good. And if you want to IP ban someone, what you need to do is search ban dash IP and then the username. And we're going to do Jeb this time. We're just going to ban all of the Minecraft old developers. And then you put the reason. So Jeb is also bad. But as he's never joined the server before, it's not going to be able to ban him because it doesn't have his IP address. Therefore, it can't ban his IP. And if I want to unban someone on Vanilla Minecraft, all I need to do is slash pardon. I don't know why it's slash unban. I don't know why it isn't that. But it's pardon or pardon IP, depending on what you've banned them for. And then their name, and then it's unban them, and they can join back onto your Minecraft server. It's pretty simple. If you have, like, friends or something that you want to, like, mess around with or punish them, if you have, like, a small server. But here's some plugins I think we should use if you are going to ban someone. So let's get into them. So the first plugin that we're going to be using now is going to be a free one and it's called Advanced Bands. So the link for all these will be in the description and things like that. And it'll have the info. So because this is a brief description of the plugin of how you can do things. So if you want more in depth and you can make a decision that on yourself, go ahead and click the link down below. Or you can watch this bit here and just see a brief overview. So if I look at all the commands for Advanced Ban, there's a lot more. There's three pages and... There's other things on here, like warns, as you can see. So if I want to warn someone, I can warn myself. So you can make it silent by doing slash S. That's also positive on here. Then let me just warn myself for the reason of... Yes. I can't warn myself because of the permissions. That's another thing, permissions as well. Advanced Band has better permissions, and you can warn people. And there's also, like, ban screens... On screen now you can see like the difference between a default one and then an advanced ban one and soon i'll show you a light bands one as well and it just adds that little bit more professionalism to your server and makes it so you can do things easier it's the exact same command so slash ban i think notch is already banned but we'll we'll do it for example bad it says he's been banned now and also broadcast it in chat which you can disable or change in the configs to look completely different because Say your theme of the server is not red and you want it to be purple, you can change that to purple that way. And it says why, and then you've got the confirmation there. That's a lot better than it just saying Notch was banned for reason and then being in all white, of course. And then there's actually slash unban on here, which is so much better. <laughs> so if I want to unban Notch, for example, I'll just do slash unban Notch and then he's unbanned. Slash IP ban is the exact same thing, so I want to put silent Notch. I can't put him because he's not got an IP saved, so I can't ban him. It's the exact same thing as before. It's very similar. It just makes it a bit more professional, and I like that, you know. And something you don't have on vanilla Minecraft is mutes. So if someone's someone spamming something in chat, like an advertisement or something, you can't mute that player. You have to ban them. Whereas on here, you can do slash mute and then the name and then for how long, example, for bad and then for two seconds. I can't mute myself, but you get the idea. And further on other things you can't have on default Minecraft is you can't temp ban people. Whereas on advanced ban, you can temp ban and temp warn and temp mute and temp IP ban people. So if you want to temp ban Notch for two weeks and then bad, he's been banned for 14 days for bad F. Can't type. But that just adds a bit more professionalism as I keep saying about this plugin. And it just makes it a lot more consistent if you don't want to ban someone permanently. So they do something that's not as bad as fly hacking, for example. So let's go on to the premium plugin of light bans. 
Okay, so I'm back here and I have light bands set up now. And before we start going into light bands, you just kind of have to remember this will set you back $8.50. So just weigh that up during this segment because if you can't afford $8.50, advanced band will probably be better for you. But in my opinion, light bands is the better plugin, but that's just your opinion and you might be thinking differently, which is fair. So first up, light bands, it has a website you can set up so you can see different types of bands. I haven't set up for this, but on screen you can see an example of these band sites where it has the band, the reason, who did it, and for how long. And it comes with warns as well and mutes. And of course, it has all the simple ones like band, the name. So let's do, for example, Notch again because you can see the chat thing. Uh, bands was Notch for high. It just looks a bit more slick to me. Obviously, you can change it on the advanced band one, but. This just looks a little bit better to me, and if you want to ban them from that, you can do that. And you don't have to unban them before it does it for you, which I quite like personally. And mute and temp mute are the exact same, the same thing as before. Whereas you can mute chat as well with this. Server chat is disabled. I can type because I had the permission, but other people won't be able to type, which is another neat feature. IP ban, the exact same as I said before. Has all the other things that the other features have, just more. And my particular favorite thing is the dupe IP command. It's where you can see accounts that are linked to the IP of that account. So say I have an alt, it'll come here and if it's in red, it'll be banned. So you know that I'm ban evading and you can ban me, which I think is quite neat. And sometimes the feature allows you to make it so that's automatic that they get banned automatically if they have the same IP as someone that is banned. There's also other things, which is like staff history. So you can check on your staff to see what they've done. As you can see, I've done this. And there's also history for the players. So if we do history of Notch, you can see Notch was banned twice by me for high. <laughs> and if your staff abuses or something, you can roll back that by staff roll back. And then the name and the amount of days example. Say someone banned something. These players will get unbanned. It makes it just a lot more faster. And you don't have to go through each ban if your staff abuses or get something wrong. And finally, as you can see on screen here, we've got the three different ban comparisons. These are the default ones of the screens. And obviously you can change the advanced ban one, you can change the light bands one. But overall it just makes it a bit more professional as I keep saying in comparison to the vanilla one. So I definitely recommend you getting a plugin. But whether you get a premium plugin of it being $8.50 like light bands, or you get a free plugin like advanced band, that's completely up to you. It depends what your budget is, but remember, light bands is going to offer you a lot more like i've just shown you and of course there's many more features that i've not mentioned like connections to a database which you can check out from the link in the description to light bands or advanced bands to see them there anyways that's all i'm going to be going through today thank you for watching and goodbye